Hi guys, this is Marcus from CyberDarkLLC.com. So today, uh, I'm gonna show you how to use the eye opener here, and we're gonna use this to open the iPhone 6 Plus. I already opened previously the iPhone 6 over there, and we're gonna do a teardown video on both of these phones momentarily right after this video. And now this is the iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm gonna, the tool I'm going to be using today is I'm going to use a Pentelow screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to use the CyberDog LC oh, professional mat. It's a magnetic mat with rewritable surface. And that's pretty much it. And my fingernails ground myself by touching giant metal object. Uh, oh, also these uh, really good super magnet uh, surface area for you to work on. These are super strong, so... Any screw that falls off today will be catched right away. For example, let me grab one screw and show you. Like, small screw, just stick right away onto the magnet. The same can say with the pro mat, but this magnet is much stronger than the pro mat. Okay, so that's how we're gonna be using the pro mat for today. That's iPhone 6, and you can see all the screws are adhered to the magnet without any issues including the heat sinks at the incline angle okay so that's gonna be today for iPhone 6 plus there we go you have the option of drawing a picture yourself or buying the screw chop mat that we sell from www.cyberdialc.com but I haven't made it for the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use the Pro Mat instead of uh, draw out screw chat. Okay, so before I draw any larger board pictures on the mat, um, I don't have no idea what it looks like. I'm assuming it looks like the iPhone 6 up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the screw as I see them and then put them on to the mat. Okay, so I'll get to the new point. This is the bar you want to see. Alright, so this is a Pentelow screwdriver. This is iPhone 6 Plus. Pretty big. There's power buttons on the side. Um, for my purpose, I don't need to take the SIM card out, but if you want, take the SIM card out. For you, you want to take the SIM card out. Just get a paper clip and pop it open. Now, you want to turn your phone off before you start doing this or anything on your phone, so always turn it off when you can. If your screen is really poorly damaged, um, then maybe that could be an issue. Okay, so Pentelow screwdriver, Pentelow screw from Apple. You want to take these out too, uh, this two out first. The trick is uh, don't put too much force, you want to be gentle with it, and as long as it gives, then you can go ahead and screw as your content and don't over screw it all right so now you take these screws let's say if you accidentally drop it then it will fall onto the magnet they're very helpful get these for your repair labs or just for your personal workshop now for this you can put it onto the drawing surface as such just so we don't lose it okay you can put it in the center of the circle. And if you draw a circle wrong, you can always erase it. Okay, so now this is all the screw you need to take out from the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6. And this is the part that iPhone opener from cyberdogllc.com comes in very handy. So I'm going to show you how this works. There's two suction cups and essentially you suction in both on both sides of the phone and you want to pull them uh, vertically perpendicular to uh, perpendicular to the phone and then it will just pop open iPhone 6 plus has ribbon cable here so you want to use your finger here just in case don't rip the phone open and you want to hear your suction cup on both sides of the phone as such okay and then you hold it with the other hand. Zoom out. This phone is barely fitting into my screen, it's so big. Um, Alright, so you want to pry open 
as such with the IF opener just gently and then you can, you can see that the screen is gonna give and you get a pop open sound from the phone and that's it as simple as that it took me like a second to do this well maybe three seconds you put it on and it opens now to remove this you wanna hold pressure onto the IF opener put your phone stabilize it and there's a little tab here just pull it open with your hand hold it open go to the other side there's also a little similar tab on the other side and then open it like such and then you can put your tool away for the next repair okay but you can't just pry open once the screen is open you can just pure open like this you gotta have to pull it down a little bit there's three retainer clip here but you don't want to pull too much because you can rip the cable so you want to wiggle a little bit and slowly and that's it you you see these this retainer clip I was talking about if you just pry open you can damage them which is not really that big a deal your phone just not gonna stay close very well um, aside from that otherwise it will just work fine physically look how big this is this is massive for iPhone 6 plus alright so I know I already turned out the phone but before you do anything or before I do anything um, I'm gonna take the battery out first not out just disconnect it and again commenting how massive this phone is. Look at the size of the battery and size of the screen, it's incredible. Wow, okay. Um, that's why my next phone is gonna be iPhone 6. Plus, all right, so draw the picture. If you're using a Pro Mat, if you're using our uh, CyberDog LC screw mat chart for iPhone 6 Plus, then you don't need to do this. And just drew a very cool picture on where the screw is at. I think that's where it's at. Okay, so there's two screws and the battery is here. Alright. Draw the battery. Just symbolic with wherever the screw is at. Alright. Very important. Again, take your battery out. This is what makes a pro phone amateurs that they know what they're doing. Uh, they, you need a you need a little bit of basic understanding of how electronics works. For example, battery bad. Don't want this, you don't want to connect it to a light circuit and short out stuff when you're touching it with tools and hands that's conductive. Once the battery is off and you discharge yourself. This screw is always think too hard to. Uh, you should be okay. You don't you don't need to worry about touching anything. Um, the EMT heat heat sink, uh, the EMT heat sink and shell it doesn't really do anything once you have no static charge on you. Anyways, so this screw is always hard to get to. You can use a tweezer to get to it if that was that was an issue. But once you do that, you can peel this open as such, and then place this onto your pro mat. Um, use your fingernails. If you watch my video a lot, uh, you will notice I don't use this to open any of the FPC connector. It's terrible. Um, they're not good for you. Use your fingernails. All right. Before you do anything, this is the first connector you want to take out. And you can leave the other connector alone. Now, now I'm safe to unscrew these screws and then take the FPC connector out from the top. Okay, let me zoom in for you so you see better what I'm talking about. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws from this heat sink. It doesn't matter which order, you just take them all out. Take all the screws out. It helps to have a little bit, little strong magnet as such. Again, you can get this from cyberdialc.com. Um, you want to draw the location of these screws on your pro mat, or you can just put them in the proximal location where they're supposed to be at, onto the pro mat. There we go. Again, there is no orientation um, order. I mean, chronological order on which screw to take out first. Whichever you get to first, you take it out. 
Okay, very good. So now put this apart uh, aside to this pro mat magnet. Um, use your finger again now, go ahead. And you can slowly peel open these FPC connectors. I think Apple actually stopped putting glues on these connectors, which is bad news for us. Um, even more the reason why you shouldn't use a pry tool for this job. I can feel like a little bit glue sensation and like a stickiness, dry stickiness when you take these screens off, connector off. Anyway, so there's four FPC connectors on iPhone 6 Plus. Um, camera, LCD screen, touch screens, and I'm guessing this is the home button. All right. This is the home button, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, this is the power button and all that stuff. Alright. Oh, well, that could be a camera. I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is how you take apart an iPhone 6 screen. Look how massive this is. Like my hand, and this is my iPhone 6 Plus screen. Huge. Okay, so I'm gonna make another video just for the complete tear down to the larger board, down to the little bini bini pit. And that's the pro mat, that's all I'm talking about, that you can draw a picture and circle your screw so you don't lose them. And you can put this aside, just do other stuff and come back and maybe an hour or so after lunch, whatever, um, then you can go on and finish your repair. So yeah, again, to visit us, to buy our amazing tools, um, you can go to Cyberdoc, C-Y-B-E-R, D-O-C, L-L-C, dot com. And this is called a eye opener. It's really iPhone, see, see what I do here, I-P-H, opener. You can Google that and you can just search on our website. It comes in two sizes. One, this is for iPhone. Uh, it works on iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, and iPhone 6, 6 Plus. Also works on iPads, but these are kind of small for iPad. You need more than one. Um, that helps. Or you can get our bigger lot model of iPhone opener. This is specifically designed for iPad. It's a lot bigger. And look at the size of the suction cup. It's also massive. Like, imagine using this for iPhone 6 Plus. I guess you could use this for iPhone 6 Plus. It's big enough. But it's a lot stronger. You can hear the difference in the noise it makes. Okay, thank you for watching. When you're not using this, uh, put it back this way so it doesn't damage the suction cups. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time in the further teardown of this iPhone 6 Plus.